Yeah. Tonight on Nightline, do you believe in miracles? As the Pope declares a new miracle beyond the power of science to explain, we bring you the Nightline Guide to the mysterious world of miracles. Marching back, doctors for Congresswoman Gifford describe her continuing improvement as the wounded aide who is standing right beside her shares her extraordinary tale. And Stanley Scar, he's a political son who has learned too well the dangers of public service. Tonight, Texas Kennedy talks about Tucson, why he left Congress in an exclusive Nightline interview. From the global resources of ABC News, with Terry Moran, Cynthia McFadden, and Bill Weir in New York City. This is Nightline, January 14, 2011. Good evening, I'm Terry Moran, and we begin tonight with miracles. It's a term we've come to use with some frequency. We describe life's most unexpected and extraordinary twist with it. But there is actually a sanctioning body for miracles, a department of miracles, you might say, that's assigned to investigate them on a case-by-case -case basis and then deliver a judgment. It's either a miracle or it's not. Well, on a day when a new miracle has been declared, Elizabeth Vargas goes inside the process for our series, Faith Matters. As soon as he died, the faithful were crying out, even demanding it. Santo Subito, sainthood immediately. The crowd chanted in St. Peter's Square. And this French nun who vowed she was cured by the late Pope has now brought him his beatification, the step before sainthood. Look at my hand, she said. It's no longer shaking. Pope Benedict announced today that Sister Marie Simone Pierre's recovery from Parkinson's disease was indeed a miracle. The beatification, an event that's expected to draw crowds as big as his funeral, will take place on May 1st. It was one of the first stories that I received. Monsignor Oder is in charge of reviewing all the potential miracles that involve Pope John Paul II. When you read this story, what did you think? Well, I, I really felt that I was at the presence of Mr. of something very, very great. Sister Marie worked at a children's hospital. Her symptoms, the trembling, became so severe she could no longer write or hold the babies she cared for. The sister was absolutely unable to continue her work, and her work was uh, very beautiful. Monsignor Oder says the distraught sister spent an entire night in a chapel praying to Pope John Paul II, who was also afflicted with Parkinson's disease. In the morning at 6 o'clock, when the all other uh, sisters went to the church or the mess, and after mass, she felt <coughs> completely free of the disease. Just like that? Yes. But in order for a miracle to be confirmed, it has to go before a special Vatican court. It has to be lasting, instantaneous, perfect, and scientifically inexplicable. In all miracle investigations, the Vatican provides an official skeptic, someone who tries to punch holes in the case, a position historically known by a phrase...